That, of course, is Pierce Brosnan in Die Another Day, driving that disappearing Aston Martin Vanquish. That and 16 other original vehicles from the Bond films are on display at the International Spy Museum in Washington as part of the exhibit Bond in Motion. Who are you? Bond. James Bond. Bond. James Bond. His identity is no secret. 007 has been played by several actors in dozens of films. Goodbye, Mr. Bond. Each shaping the quintessential image of the globe-trotting spy. A martini, shaken, not stirred. With his smooth demeanor, dapper style, daring stunts, and fancy gadgets. Did you ever, John, read one of the books or see one of the movies and say, that's exactly how it happens? I've read most of the books. The hairs on my arm stand up here and there. And Jonna Mendez, a founding board member of the museum, was chief of disguise at the CIA. Morning, Q. A role often compared to Q of the Bond books and films. At CIA, we worked with magicians at certain points. Not actually the performers on stage, but the people behind the magic that built the, the illusions and the deceptions. But before that, she was a photo operations officer focused on concealing cameras. You could take 100 pictures with the camera. Wow. Um, to develop it, your heart would almost stop because you knew the people that had taken the pictures had taken huge risks. She mastered concealing identities later. Sometimes you would do a couple of dental facades, maybe a wig, maybe um, a pair of glasses. You just fiddle with the person when they came in. Like I said when I met you, I could have so much fun disguising you. Really? Yes, you, you are a... You are a <laughs> like, like a cipher. Like, you know, You're a so, blank slate. Yeah, blank slate. Mendez and her team developed lifelike face masks, which have been portrayed in films like Mission Impossible. She wore one of the masks to a meeting with then-President George H.W. Bush. He had no idea it was a disguise. I said, I'm going to show you something new, and now I'm going to take it off. And he said, whoa, whoa, don't take it off. And he got up and he walked over and he's looking. So he went and sat back down. He said, okay, take it off. Wow. Correct me if I'm wrong, when you are recruiting, you're not looking necessarily for the guy who stands out because he's handsome, he's six foot two, I'm from. evidence of that, right? <laughs> so I'm no Pierce Brosnan. Chris um, Costa is the executive director of the museum, but he's also a former real-world spy. You don't want somebody to be ostentatious unless that happens to be something you have to project for some operational reason. You don't want to be remembered. That's right. Costa spent decades in counterintelligence, human intelligence, known as human and special operations. How difficult is it? when you're in the field to make contact with somebody and to get them to spy for another country. You want to build a trusting relationship because that foreign agent is going to take risks yes, for our, our country. But by the time you get ready to recruit someone, they're waiting. They know it's coming. The younger generations seem to think that as it gets harder and harder for us to cross borders, to evade the cameras on every street corner. They're assuming that technology will take over and human will become less important. But human is the basis of the whole thing. Costa showed me one of the Bond cars, first seen in the 2002 film, Die Another Day, now in the museum's collection. Can I get in? You can get in. <laughs> the Jaguar XKR, complete with Gatling gun, was driven not by Bond, by the villain Zhao. You haven't even been in any of these vehicles. Nope, wow. never. So this is exciting for me. So even though this is a Bond villain car, I mean, it's still pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get over the fact that I'm a villain, but I'll work with it. But that. if you have a car like this, who cares? That's right, that's right. <laughs> when these vehicles came to the museum, did you spend a little time with them? There's 17 vehicles, and there's a very narrow slot that opens up, what, right. three floors up? But to see that reassembled in this room is just stunning. One of the greatest joys of this job, watching young learners get excited about the museum. I can feed off that. That can sustain this work forever, right? The idea that people get excited about what they see in a museum like this. That's great. Ian Productions and the Ian Fleming Foundation helped get this exhibit together. To see more of the museum's artifacts, check out CBS 
morning's YouTube channel. Did you tell him you were one of those young learners that gets excited <laughs> that gets about gets excited Benzino? with my martini. Uh, this was an incredible piece to do because oh, I learned so much about the world of spycraft.